Well, I am back. Oh, there goes the old phone. I'm back in Brisbane for a while, obviously. Um, I have to come back because I had a few um, issues, but with um, with some gear and whatever. But yeah, we're back. We're back in a house for a while. So a couple of months here. And um, first things first, I've got to get all my gear sorted out. Uh, there's, there's been some issues and I'll give you a few updates on it. So yeah, I need to get this this clean. You can see how dirty this, the boat is. Just drove for two days. It's it's filthy. It's got soot and dirt and dust and everything on it. So we're going to give this, we're going to give the gear a real big spruce up. Got to give my gear a big spruce up and, and you know, I'll run you through a few things anyway. And, and then tomorrow, um, because this will be out of action for a while, and it'd be good to jump in with someone else for a while, but yeah, me and Brandon are gonna go and um, chase some snappers so just before the closed season. Uh, Queensland has a one month closed season now for snappers, so we'll get in We'll get in just in time to uh, to bang. I'll be happy with one fish, I'll be happy with one or two good good snapper um, to welcome me back, so. Anyways, gotta do some chores now, so let's do it. Oh, buckets. Uh, the old boat wash bucket. <laughs> we have to clean. We have to clean the boat wash bucket and broom before we can clean the boat. Look how filthy the boat is. Like, look at all the two-day driving. And these bear. This bearing's been really good. I haven't replaced this one, but the other one. Actually, I'll show you underneath here. One of the issues. If we can get under here and have a look. One of the things I noticed is that this is bent. See this rim's bent. So I'm up for a new rim there. I don't know if you can see that very well, but yeah, that's one of the issues I'm having. And then that wheel bearing over there. You can see there's a bit of rust coming through on the trailer now. Like with these things, they're looking a little bit rusty. Those pin, roller pins, I need new, new rollers as well. And uh, new pins probably. And then, yeah, that other wheel on that side, it um, did a bearing on the way back at uh, Mackay. So, yeah, I had to do that one on the side of the road. So, yeah, that's um, the trailer. There's a few issues, a few issues with the trailer, but pretty minor. So, we'll just, we'll probably change this bearing just so that their boat's all done. And um, we're gonna have to find a new rim. I've got a spare tire up here, which I did have a flat, which is why the steely is on there. So this is a new tire. So we'll put that rim and tire back on there and we'll get a new steel rim and see if we can put that, because that tire is fairly new as well, put that tire on a new rim. So yeah, a little, little muck around while I'm here too. Have a look at this little repair. This is the only, I had like a, like a hose and a valve that drains the, so drains from here down through to there but then the hose broke and split so I didn't have a hose so then the water would come in through there so I just put this little valve on and siliconed it in and like there's a there's a stopper on the other end so the water like yeah anyways it's not not ideal so I need to rip that out and and all that sort of stuff so look how filthy the boat is so anyways let's um let's get on with it good clean the bucket So for the, the most part, like, people, you know, wonder where well, I'd wash the boat. Sometimes I'll, you know, if there's friendly people on the road, you can wash your boat or most boat ramps, or not most, but some boat ramps you can wash down, but you can't really bring a bucket and soak. So it'll be the first bit of soaking that it's had in quite a time. So yeah, it looks, It'd be good for it. It'd be good for it. Just, uh... Absolute filth. Look at it. Absolute filthy.
See, that's another thing a lot of people ask me is like, what, how do you do your motor? And I've got one of these, um, what do you call it, attachments here. So anywhere where I found a hose, even if it didn't have a plug on it, you can just literally put the hose on there and it'll, you know, clear your telltale and all that sort of stuff. And then the other thing I had was I put a few chips in my prop, quite a few actually. You can see that one there. I'll see if I can find an old photo of it, but I had massive chips out of my prop like there. So a guy fixed it up for me, George from Samurai plate buds big shout out so thanks george that and the other, the other thing george did for me made me up a number plate because i lost my number plate so um yeah that's the story behind that I actually got a fine for um not having a number plate on because we all know they they come off from time to time the old transducers seen a little bit of a bit of a war like it's got it's got cracks in it i've actually had to put a bit of glue on there as security it's where these um where these screws come into the plastic you've got cracks along where the screws come in so it'd probably be hard to pick it up on the gopro but yeah it's sort of like yeah they just sort of uh, cracks along here and and then work their way down the sides there so it's yeah so that's another thing another issue i'm having but um all fixable all fixable another little gem is why I've got these scrape marks on here is because I had one of these give way and um, yeah so these bits were rubbing in here because this this gave way the boat came down that came down to here and they were resting on there and um, yeah so I had to go find a bolt and one of these and I chopped this down on this side so it would fit put a big bolt up bigger bigger bolt in there than what was in there so that was one thing there and then I just can't believe how many stone chips I have now, like they're just like everywhere, look at them all, like, all through to about here, that was a sticker someone put on my boat, so thanks for that champions, but yeah, I can't believe the amount of, I'm going to have to get new stickers, because these are all coming off, but yeah, the amount of stone chips is unbelievable, so something else I've got to fix, I've got to fix that, so boat's going to be out of action for a while, because the sounder is... Uh, with BLA at the moment trying to get uh, fixed. There's faults with it. But it's going to be out of action for a while. So that's uh, one thing. Big camera. Um, the Sony is in as well for warranty. Because it's been playing up or it will be in for warranty. Um, everything else is good. Motor just needs a service obviously. It's gone uh, over its 100 hours. I think maybe 180 hours since it was last serviced. Uh, which was maybe three months four months ago so anyways got to give the car a quick wash too she's pretty dirty he's been washed even less than the boat but um yeah it's been pretty good i've got airbags in the back now obviously i put airbags in and um greased bushings in the airbags i can't see them but yeah they're in there down there airbags but yeah the, the ute hasn't missed a beat so i'm pre pretty happy with it. it's got a few extra bits of character in it now but um other than that, it's pretty good. So I'll just give you a quick wash, and then um, got to grab some gear out and sort some stuff out for tomorrow, and and then um, yeah, we should be all set and all good. Cars all good, boats all good. So now I just got to get some gear together for tomorrow for fishing. Uh, nothing, nothing too interesting. Um, yeah, nothing too interesting. Uh, just going to chase some snapper. So. Hopefully get one or two good bites, but um, hopefully that's kind of answered everybody's questions from on the road. Um, and I might, videos may be a little bit scattered from now because I don't know how long the boat's going to be out of action because obviously COVID screwed up things with parts and all that sort of stuff. So there's a few long wait times, but I'll probably just fish with a few other people and maybe land based stuff. Should be able to rustle up a few fish either way. So I'm going to get stuff ready and I'll see you guys in the morning and we'll go fishing. Oh, we're in. We're on business. We're on business or in business? Both. Both. Fishes there. Some fishes. 
When you get this stuff, What's up? Oh, Mark's Brendan. Look. Fishy. Straight, straight down with the Johnson. Are they fishes? Nah. Fishy. Oh, maybe. Yeah, oh, definitely. Them. Definitely some fishies. Thanks, Matt. Amazing, isn't it? You want me out the front or you want to Nah, you're on, mate. You just do you. You, do. you do you, babe. Oh, that's a nice rod. Where are you at? I'm over the top of you. No. That's a nice little choice. Really? You're as bad as me. No etiquette, I. No way, he's going in front of us. There's no way. <laughs> There's no way that someone would do that. What a dickhead. What an idiot. There's no etiquette there, hey? Zero etiquette. Don't say hello. Are you on the bottom there? Oh no, he's slack taking up. Oh, you're on. You're on. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if I can count that. <laughs> That's a good fish. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Old oh, Rodney strikes again. What happened? Just no oh, hook set. Got you in the kilt. That's it, I just hit the bottom right then. That's alright. What'd you have on, jerk shad? What colour? Blue. Blue. Now blue strikes again. That was a good fish, too. That was a good fish. I thought you were on the bottom. I said, you're, you're on the bottom. And I went, oh no, you just took up the slack and then it fucking buckled over. How do you feel? Do you want to talk us through it? Um, <laughs> look, I'm too busy with the GoPros. <laughs> By the time I picked him up, I could feel it rubbing, which is never a good yeah. sign. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not great. It's not ideal. That's not ideal. So, so be between us, like... Two seconds and <laughs> see ya. Bit of rubbing and then yeah. Is that usually how it goes? Two seconds of rubbing and then all <laughs> over. Oh no, it's probably one. But, you know. <laughs> I didn't know what to do after this. Yeah, that's. I mean, we've all been there. <laughs> <laughs> Lot of YouTube, you influencers with your cameras, and just get to the fishing, guys. Come on, that's pretty cool. Good shot. Let's go back up here. Seven front, up the front. The big boys up the front, big boys, and then fish right on cue. Is that, is that working for you? Well, I'm zoomed in on the rear, so. So it's not. Yeah, no, you got that on camera, right? <laughs> oh my god! Are you kidding me? <laughs> you nailed it! Oh my god! He's got me in there. He's got me. Oh, He's a good fish, man. He's got me. Wait, wait, get in there and pussy. <laughs> Can't put that in the film, Brendan. We're trying to film. <laughs> oh my you god. Do anything or you're no, I'm alright. <laughs> Worst fisherman in history. Oh my god. That is a good fish. 
Oh my god. Here he comes. Oh, here he is. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I don't want to sound arrogant, but that's kind of average for me. <laughs> That is a beast! That is a beast! Oh shit! Holy shit! There we go, Brendan! Yeah, <laughs> Welcome back, mate! <laughs> Welcome back! Good to have you on the coast! That's awesome, dude! That's awesome! Wowza! He walloped that, hey! He absolutely. Look where he's got it! It's right down there! Oh! Nice. Nice, thanks, mate. 570. Yeah, mate, you got it down there, didn't you? There we go. Whew. That is... What the? Did I squish your... Did I, did I squish your sauce? How did it end up there, Brendan? How did it end up there? Oh, oh look at that. Oh, it's funny. <laughs> That's the price you pay for a good fish, right? Oh, oh you're so scooping that shit up. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. Not a bad fish. Good frame. Anything we need to do there? Nope. Perfect. Good to be back down south. Very good. Alright, release this. Look how fat the guts are. Not even already yet. Perfect. <laughs>